And today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about the importance of before and after in this episode. So the before and after that I'm referring to is the before and after videos when you go about making an improvement. One of the things that we've seen that's made the hugest difference for us is when we're seeing before and after videos, whether it's at Paul Aker's Fast Cap Company or other companies that have been embracing Two Second Lean around the world. When you look at how it was and then how it is now that those improvements have been made, the contrast is what really impacts me and I believe others as well. The visual of it gets in and it's like, oh wow, I get it. If you're a visual learner and most of us are, then you almost don't even need to articulate it. It just becomes a intuitiveness about why would I want to do that because the, the contrast is so great and the ease is so apparent. In the video that we watched this morning from a panel of t people that were embracing Two Second Lean anywhere from 10 months to a couple of years, and uh, when Paul Akers asked them, you know, is there anything you would do differently now? Almost all of them said that they wished that they had more before pictures to contrast with the changes and that they had done those before and after videos so that as they uh, shared it throughout their team, like we have a small team, you know, but some of these guys had you know, 100 people or 900 people in different locations that when you share a video before and after or pictures of before and after, it gets people inspired and enrolls them in what could be if they took this on. And the, the ease of doing it on uh, an iPhone or your smartphone and being able, you know, whether you have a selfie stick or somebody's kind of following you around and talking about it is it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be, hey, I'm capturing this. And I think that's the beauty of, of Paul Laker's approach to lean in his two second lean book and banishing sloppiness is it, it can be goofy. It can be, um, you know, it doesn't have to be slick. It should be fun. And so you see the excitement in people as they're making these improvements and practicing Kaizen, the constant and never ending improvement of a process or of a production, and then sharing that. And it's the videos. I mean, I've seen so many videos where it's like, of course, just of course. And we're gonna show you some of our before and after videos. Some from my office and some from Doug's. And I'm gonna take you into my office. This is my office and the view is utterly spectacular uh, with the treetops and the royal palms and royal poncianas. Uh, that's a, hopefully a bit of a distraction from the way my office is right this minute. I used to pride myself on having all my things laid out and I could work on this and then I could work on this and then I could work on that. Um, it actually in Lean, we're taught that you only want to have out what you need to be able to work on adding value to your clients and nothing else. So. My uh, conference table covered with stuff and um, a nice plant. Over here I have my trampoline. You see above that, the, uh, these were our notes from last week's strategic planning session for the second half of 2020. Uh, some of our agenda and some other notes, that was my bucket list. And uh, in our notes here, I'm transferring that into a, a document, a planning document, but it's not done yet. This is my beautiful glass whiteboard. I've got little notes and things on here to remind me of this or to remind me of that. I'm a very visual person, and so if it goes into a computer somewhere, I like never thought of it again. So I tend to write things down. You'll see papers all over the place. As, a, as I said, I'm very visual. However, you know, this doesn't really 
work <laughs> and I don't exactly know what I'm going to be doing about it. Here's my desk. Um, my desk still, you know, with a, a phone, a book, some notes, a, a, a inspiring little picture here, my God box, my computer with two screens, stuff over here in the corner. This is, uh, was intended to be where I had my communication center and the uh, uh, letters and stamps and things, books. Uh, client notebooks which are you know largely irrelevant today because everything can be cloud-based but they're not yet my handbag and um, over here <laughs> I hate to tell you this but it's true so I will these are boxes of files from the previous move that never got unpacked they're here to be unpacked and then you can see all of the Notebooks and books and magazines for doing vision boards uh, are here and uh, and so this is my office and um, There's a lot about this office mine that is amazing particularly my view My standing desk and the fact that I do have a work table and a beautiful whiteboard and some of my books But there's a lot about it that doesn't work um, the clutter I'm just really seeing the clutter and where the eight wastes that Paul Aker talks about in banishing sloppiness that are obvious in my in my just my own physical little space here. The overproduction, the transportation, the inventory, excess inventory, the uh, defects and rework, overprocessing, um, the uh, wasted motion, waiting time for our customers and clients, and wasted employee potential. I mean, when I've got to go shuffle through all kinds of things to try to find something that I know is here somewhere, um, you know, there's a lot of wasted motion, a lot of overprocessing, and a lot of wasted employee potential. Okay, so I told you in another video that I was making some improvements to my office, so I want to show those to you now. Over here on my desk, I've taken everything that isn't important to me. This is what I'm working on today. And this is a timer. So when I have space in between um, a meeting or a coaching session, I can set this to alarm me and give me a little notice. Because I don't really want it to go off on my phone and vibrate or any of those things. And a lot of times I don't hear it because I usually have the phone uh, volume off. So this will alert me, okay, Jody, you gotta stop what you're doing and get ready for the next thing. Um, I cleaned the desk up considerably. Over here, I put a hook in for my headset and for my little, um, um, what do you call it? <laughs> what, is, what is it? Selfie stick. A selfie stick, yep. The selfie stick is over here and the camera holder is over there so that I can do videos. And then back here, oops, back here is a hook for my purse. My cleaning supplies and paper towels behind here and then the tape and, and the stapler that I need from time to time. I had a chair over here. You may have noticed it had become like a bench. So I took the chair out, moved my briefcase over here. In this corner, I have a few things that can help me with my health, a little um, board for creating a balance end, um, and then a stretching and a uh, stretching I don't know what you call it, a stretching bar, or it's, I don't know, it stretches. And then my mini trampoline. And then you may remember my table was covered with stuff. All of this got cleaned up or put away. This is a stack of things I'm going through with Louisa on marketing, my little plant, which I love. I brought in something from home that really makes me happy, this little statue here. Those are some papers that I'm gonna be going through that are all about business and business models. So I've got all of that. So when I travel uh, in the next, later this week actually, I'll take that with me and sort through that. I have a chair over here in the corner now for reading. And then the other day I noticed like, oh my goodness, these are client folders that Amanda had that I can go through and, and uh, get rid of. I had originally thought I was gonna go from great big huge binders for the clients I've had forever and ever on then to smaller ones with essential information. But you know what I've decided? I'm just gonna go ahead and go 100% paperless. I love paper, I love to write. I'm actually, you know, that's part of my process is writing. 
However, I don't need to hold on to these things when everything can be accessed in the computer remotely. So I don't need them. So anyway, these are some of the improvements to my office. It's not 100% the way um, that I intended to be, but this is a progress report. All right, that's it. Bye for now. Two second lean. If you saw value in this, please share it, like it, subscribe, and we'll see you again very, very soon.